So my name is Adam Brimo, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Open Learning. And Open Learning focuses on making online education more fun, enjoyable, and effective. So at the moment, um, a lot of people do online courses either at university or in the companies that they work at, but they're really very boring. You're just sitting there, you know, reading things online or watching a video, and it doesn't really do anything for you. And if you look at university and at school, the experiences that you had that really meant something to you, that where you really learned something, was where you were with other people helping each other out, solving problems, working together. So that's what we encourage in open learning, building a community online, not just delivering content in a course. My name is David, David Klein. I'm, I wear a couple of hats at open learning. I, um, my, my official sort of role here is to look after the product and look after um, the engineering side of it and the architecture of, of, of the product. And I don't think that anyone is quite utilizing the medium of of the internet and, and uh, the interaction that we have and the, the scope of what we have available there um, to the ends of, of really good effective education yet and I think that that's what we're really striving to do. Um, so what is really important for me to make education effective is to make it really empowering and motivating and, and encouraging for the students. Publishing your lectures online and publishing your notes online is like the first step. They've, they've taken the first step to getting what they're doing online, but they haven't actually taught a course online because a course is a lot more than just the lectures or the content. So a good example is of our other co-founder, Professor Richard Buckland from the University of New South Wales. He put his lecture videos online in probably 2008, 2007, and he's had over two million people around the world watch them. But those students never actually got the experience of doing the course. They couldn't do the activities, they couldn't interact with other people, there may have been two million people watching, but watching was all they were doing. They weren't actually participating or engaging with other people. So based on that experience, when we put that course on open learning, the students couldn't just watch the lectures now, they could actually do things. They were learning. And they formed a really strong community, they made new friends, they met people all around the world, and they really engaged with each other. A lot of the concepts that work really well in social media um, are translated into open learning. So rather than having an individual forum for the course, you can comment on any piece of content, anywhere it is. Um, you have your own blog, so you can easily you know, blog about things. There's instant messaging, so you can chat to anyone who's online in the course. And then we have a lot of concept gamification concepts to encourage you to keep going through the course. So things like progress bar, karma points, uh, badges, all these sort of things. But more than any individual feature, um, the way that it's been designed and put together just has a very positive feel and it just encourages you to participate. The, the reactions from the students have been really, really positive. Um, uh, a, lot of, a lot of students are falling completely in love with the platform and a lot of teachers are too. We have uh, a, a teacher in, in Malaysia who, who has basically spends every living day an hour on on open learning because um, he's just so excited by uh, how his students um, uh, are so empowered to learn on this platform and, and he has a lot of enjoyment out of that as well and finds it a fantastic experience. So uh, the majority of experiences have been really positive and really encouraging. It really motivates us to, to keep striving to build a really awesome product. Our goal is to build the most fantastic, uh, fun online learning platform in the world and we want everyone to be able to use it, to be able to take courses on it. Whether you're taking courses at a high school level, or at university, or out in corporate training, and at the moment we have customers across all of those. We have over 30,000 students around the world on open learning at the moment. Um, but what we see is that everyone being able to experience this type of education, where you're not just sitting there passively reading and watching, you are there actually communicating with others, helping other students, teaching people, teaching other students yourself. Um, and doing that in a really fun, supportive environment. So we want everyone to experience it, and that's our goal, uh, long term and short term. In the near term, we're just focused on really improving the platform and getting it out there as much as we can.